And uh, bottom position is uh, Donzo Donzo. Again, nope. There we go. Alright, <coughs> and the bottom position is Donzo Donzo. So, the map is La Mancha. Now, do you like this map? Because I've heard, I've heard some pros offices say that it was uh, a fine map, but I've also heard some pros offices say that it's really got some issues for PvP. Uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot. You like it a lot? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking it's a rather standard map, aside from the uh, odd uh, Heartbreak Ridge ridges in the middle of the map. But otherwise, it's a pretty standard four-player map. Yeah, uh, I actually think it favors Protoss over here, because the third is really close, and easy to defend, and the, f the other net is really far away for the third to take it, so it's kind of harder for him to defend. You're going to go for a double scout. Um, most pros often don't do double scouts. They just, uh, if they don't scout uh, fast enough with the first probe, they just throw down two cannons. Why do you double scout? Well, I think it's, you should always double scout on a four player map because first, you, like in this game, I can get my nexus before the forge because if you don't, you're really behind. And second, because if he goes by pull, you can just put a pylon on your main and add a cannon there and you will be fine because you don't need your ex. But if you scout with only one probe, you'll miss it and you will die and lose. By the way, I'm quite sure for gamers to scout with two probes on all player modes. I'll have to watch that. I, 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 I know that it happens but I'm not sure if everybody does it. Anyway, um... Nice wall you're setting up. Actually, that's a really nice wall. I like it. Yeah, the... Go, go ahead. The idea is to actually put the gate above the forge, but the choke is a little small, so if you do that, you will wall yourself in, and that's because uh, a bit to the left. But the common build is to put the gate directly above the forge for a better wall. It doesn't make much difference, though. I think. Now, are you the type of Protoss that has all of their uh, walls laid out, so you know exactly what your wall looks like for every map and every position on every map, or do you just kind of wing it a little? Like, um, I usually know how to wall because I play many maps, but uh, I, find, uh, I sometimes wing it, but I think if you want to win a lot and it's like an important game, it's key to, to know beforehand what you're doing and to don't have to mess your head thinking um, how to wall when you should be worried about how you're scouting and other more important so it's better to, to always have that prepared. So what you're saying is this, this is a don't try this at home moment. Yeah. Alright. I think it's important to mention that this guy is really good and we have played a lot and I think he's, he has the upper hand on me in like 10 games or so, a bit, so he's actually very good. Really? Yeah. Now, I know this guy because my first casting was for Collegiate Brood War, and this guy's the ace for Carnegie Mellon University, but he isn't very active in the uh, Gambit Cup or, <coughs> excuse me, Gambit Cups or Nation Wars or Gosu Cups or anything like that. So, I thought he was like B, B minus. 
B was B B plus B plus. Yes. But I think he told me he's versus Prados is a lot better than his other matchups. Like whenever I beat him, he says, "Crap, I lost to Prados. What a shame." <laughs> I think that's a pretty common sentiment among Zergs. There we go. Okay, uh, so my first course is out. And you should always try to scout what he's doing. Like, make sure he isn't teasing you. Which I think was important to mention that the first go, like the most important thing to do with your first pro, is to keep it alive as long as possible to make sure he's gone, he isn't going for an ether boss. And when it dies, you use the scout to make double sure that that doesn't happen. Now, I remember this being a pretty big thing back um, towards the end of the uh, Pro League season. There are some Pro Tosses who use their very first Corsair to kill the uh, close Overlord and just take up the free kill. But there are other Pro Tosses who send their very first Corsair directly towards their opponent's uh, main just to make sure that there's not uh, a Hydralis bus incoming. In, in, in this game, you went for the uh, free Overlord kill, but are there certain situations where you think it's better to uh, not kill that Overlord immediately? and just scout with the first course set? Uh, I think it's better to always scout what he's doing, but, like, because I played a lot with him and he has, like, never teased me, I decided to go for the first kill. Oh, so you usually go and scout with the first course set? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So your first DT is out. You did get a uh, rather fast dump on archives, just uh, pointing out. Yeah, this is like the new PC build, where you get a fast DT and fast courses, and you aren't really doing a timing attack with your Silox. You just want to force a Sanken or two and to scout with them. Now, what I'm a little bit confused about is that you sent out your DT before your Corsair, so you couldn't actually kill any of the Overlords. Why didn't you uh, try to get some Overlord kills before sending your DT in? Well, say again? You sent your DT out without...